bluegrass is a lot like a polka. Um, and so you hear and that's that's your simple bluegrass bass and so the one in the five is in this case you know I'm playing my G and my D string and so I'm playing in the key of G and so the G is my one note it's the first note in the scale of G and then my D note, which is the fifth note in my scale of G. So that is the one and the five. And so if you're, if you're just starting out, you know, you really want like, this is the most, this is the most foundational, you know, part of bluegrass bass. And, um, and I know a lot of the times people have a hard time um, switching from chord changes, right? Mm -hmm. So like, that's what I would, if, if I was just starting out, I would, I would just start with. And so that, that is, you know, playing your G and then they switch to the D chord. So, and, and so that, that is a, uh, a practice that I would, that I would try and I would put my metronome on to represent the mandolin chop. Let's see that. And so you're going to be playing the opposite of this. And maybe that was a little bit fast. Maybe I could slow it down just a bit. But if you if you start practicing with the metronome and the metronome is, is, is very bland, you know, no one enjoys it. It shows all your imperfections and, uh, and just seems to mock you at some points. But, um, but if you start with that, you will be really setting yourself up for success.